tension. It's real. Such tension. Um... Whoa. Elevator is in use. Oh, this must be the one that goes to the, uh... The hotel lobby. Oh, boy. Good lord, the silence just... Whoa. Flashback. What's going on here? Uh... Why is blocked by two padlock? There's a note attached. Howdy, I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. Keys are in the kitchen and the hallway. It's a golden flower. Whoa. Long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, a human called out for help. What's going on? White first stuck in the... This is like Toriel's home. What's happening? Astriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Asgore... Toriel... Asriel? Heart-shaped locket inside this box. Worn dagger. Best friends forever. Wait, whoa, what'd that say? Striped shirts. What's happening? Oh my god, if this turns out to be what I think... Over time, Ezreal and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. Asquare's journal. What current page says was... Is nice day today. I think it's still almost wet. <laughs> Mr. Dad Guy. What's happening? But everything, it's still you. Whoa. 
Well, then, one day, the human became very ill. The sick human had only one request, to see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. The next day, the human died. Asriel, wrecked with grief, absorbed the human's soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Asriel crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. Asriel reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Asriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Asriel had the power to destroy them all. But Asriel did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azrael smiled and walked away. Wounded, Azrael stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children that in one night. The human had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore let us, will let, will let us go. King Asgore will give us hope. King Asgore will save us all. You should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free. What's going on? Sands? So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, he will determine the future of this world. That's then, now. He will be judged. He will be judged for every action. He will be judged for every XP you've earned. What's XP? That's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. A way of quantifying the pain you've inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your XP increases. When you have enough XP, your love increases. Love too is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. 
the more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you. You never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. Well, does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. You refuse to fight. Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. If you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. You didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. As long as you hold on, so long as you don't do, so long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. All right, we're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. no determination. Do I just assume I have determination at this point? What's down here? Whoa. Um. Okay. Um. No joke. <sighs> dum de dum. Oh, someone there? What's the moment? I've almost finished watering these flowers. There we are. Ah! He's like Toriel. Howdy, how can I... Oh. Mm. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But... You know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. <sighs> you know what we must do. When you're ready, come into the next room. I have a feeling. How tense. Just think of it like... A visit to the dentist. <laughs> so many points. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I'm not ready either. Whoa. That's a long corridor. This is the barrier. That's what keeps us all trapped underground. If... If by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. I see. This is it, then. 
Ready? Strange light fills the room. Determination. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Oh boy. No mercy. I do. Oh, jeez. the snowman piece so many places.
come on. I haven't used the fight option yet, I don't plan on doing it now. Determination! That's really hard. I don't want to fight! Can't make me! Alright, so, seeing as you can look at the screen, it's taken me hours to come to this conclusion. Went out for a drive, uh, did some thinking, and, uh, I think, once again, I was looking at the problem straight in the face and didn't see the answer. So I'm gonna try something different this time. A little different. Dodge that one perfectly. All you can do is fight, and I, of course, I ignored that like every time. Ow. Because I didn't want to hurt him. I didn't. I'm, well, I'm not like I can't hurt him. I, I haven't hurt anyone. But it's like, I didn't want to try to hurt him. I guess this is all I can do. I have to actually do what he's wanting me to. I know how to dodge well enough, so... However, I don't know what I'm doing with the whole fighting thing. I never learned how to do it, so... Oh boy.
How did I even do that? Ah. This could still take a while. So nerve-wracking. Also, it's like, that's his voice, right? It sounds like his voice. Let's go, let's go. This 
This is so hard. Oh boy. <laughs> How did I avoid that? It's like a completely different style of playing than what I've been doing this entire time. Talk to me yet? Uh, is he ever gonna talk to me? Ah. Why does it seem like it's getting easier? Talk to him now? Ugh. Come on, man. What? He did. Uh, I did so much damage. Please, no. the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become good, godlike. Free us from this terrible prison. Then I would destroy humanity let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. Mercy. After everything I have done to hurt you, 
You would rather stay down here and suffer. And live happily on the surface. Human. I promise you. As long as you remain here. My wife and I will take care of you. At the best we can. I'm gonna sit in the living room. <laughs> telling stories. Eating butterscotch pie. We could be like... Like a family. Oh no! What? He must be joking me. You! Ah! 